Hi. Just wanted to make an update. Today is Sunday. I think it's February 22nd. I'm losing track of every day. One just blurs into the next. I wanted to check in because I think that what I write in my blog is not sharing the emotional impact of what has actually gone down with me and, and through this treatment. I tried a little bit to share that this week um, when I said I was cracking emotionally and to be completely honest, I was totally gutted. I need to share it to the world that I was crying for my little lammy as a child that really that really encapsulated where I was emotionally with it all and I think eight years with this disease and from nightmare to nightmare and hospital to hospital and treatment to treatment and then coming here which has been absolutely an honor and, and I'm so blessed that I've had this opportunity to be here and to do what I've done and um, it's been really 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 hard and I think what I do is I compartmentalize the the physical portions I just have to because if you, if I don't then I won't make it through so I, I have these things that they do to me these drugs that they put in me this poison and I know my body's fighting to get it out and I'm suffering immensely from the side effects from it try to find something grateful each day to, to look at and say oh thank goodness that didn't happen or that didn't happen or I dodged that bullet and there's so many bullets that I dodged along the way in this treatment and then as I get better I realize I can look back and go oh my gosh that was so bad like, that was so bad I, I don't even know how I cope through it People always say to me, you know, you're so strong and you're an inspiration, but you're not when you sell with something. I don't think you ever think that way about yourself. You're just you and you're just Jenny Bug or JG or J J B or GG, whatever. So many names people have for me over the years and it's just me and um, just trying to plow through it. But yeah, this is this is really really shattered me on all levels and um, but it's been amazing um, at the same time and the doctors here are absolutely fantastic and I have had such positive responses in so many ways that other people don't and um, I'm, I'm at a level now of like basic community so I, I have enough bacterial fighting white blood cells that I can travel and tomorrow I'll have my last uh, infusion which is a really mild chemotherapy, chemotherapy called uh, rituximab it just is very very selective in the cells that it depletes it doesn't affect any red blood cells or platelets thank gosh because I sure don't need those to grow back um, and then uh, that's that's the last of it so all in all, I would say that I've had a golden hand on my shoulder, just, just looking after me, whatever it is, whoever it is. And yeah, I've dodged bullets big time. I didn't write about it, but there's so many things that had, could have gone wrong if it didn't. And I didn't go to the hospital and um, other people do and other people have really severe and neutropenic fevers. I miss that, I missed a lot. But the other things that did happen to me were, were like, like a PTSD. So I gotta process that out and I will in time. It just needs time. And um, don't ever worry about me not seeing the prize at the end and the hope and the, the positiveness of what's happened here and what will happen in my future. So I just wanted to make a quick comment about that. It's a super long video, uh, the most long I've ever made. And hope, uh, hope you're all having a good day. Talk to you later.